What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Yakima Stage 2 platform style bike rack on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. Taking a closer look at it, it's going to be a platform style bike rack, which means it's going to sit here on these platforms. It's always got stadium style parts where you put the bike. So you can see this one's a little more elevated than this section here. So that's going to help you make sure that the handlebars and the seats don't get in each other's way. It's going to hold it by the wheel. So it's going to really open it up for a bunch of different frame types of bikes that you can put on here. It doesn't have to be a center mass that holds it here by the frame. So there's going to be no frame contact. So you can even put a carbon fiber bike on here. It'll be just fine. So it'll hold it by the wheel. Won't be making any contact here. And it doesn't limit you with that center mass. The center mass on some of the platform style bike racks just kind of get in the way when you're going to load up a bike, you have to kind of go around it or fold it down to put this bike on there. Or when you take bikes off, again, going around it. I really like that this one doesn't have that. You just got the simple wheel hook up here that's padded. So even it coming down on the tire isn't gonna damage it. And we got a back strap here on the back wheel too, just to hold it nice and tight. You see, you can shake the back bike just a little bit. It doesn't move a whole lot. So that's gonna be as much as it moves when you're going on the road. One of the features it includes is you can actually tilt it away with the bikes loaded. So you have to lift up a little bit and pull back on this latch, the lever is kind of tough to pull back on, so just be mindful of that. You bring it down here, you can see it's not too bad with it down here. If you even had a second bike, we did that in the demo earlier. I didn't feel like I was underneath the bike, so I like that part. Sometimes the handle can be up towards the front, and that's kind of cumbersome to kick that and drop this down. Then you're kind of under the bikes. I like that the handle's on the outside here so that I can just grab this, lift it up when I need to, and it's easy to get to. Now we can open up our back hatch and get to the back of the vehicle. That way you can easily grab something or throw something in there that you forgot to with the bike loader. You don't have to take all the bikes off and the bike rack just to get back here. Tilting it back up into place. You wanna be careful. You have to go a little bit higher than you think you do just because of the angle of the bike racks. So you lift up, you kind of hear or see it click into place and you let it back down and it settles right there. So now it's locked back in. You see, back nice and level. Now the bike trays can handle bikes up to 60 pounds per tray. So just keep that in mind. Now that's on a vehicle, so on your 4Runner. Now this also works on motorhomes or RVs. And that changes the weight capacity just a little bit to 36 pounds per bike. So keep that in mind if you want to use it on your vehicle and your motorhome. It's going to change that weight rating up just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and remove the bike and get it out of the way. So we'll come back to the back strap. I'll show you how that works. Just push in on this lever. It's going to release the strap so you can remove that and release the back tire. Here at the front wheel hook, we can push on this button and slide it up push it out of the way it's really easy to do the, like i said before this is have a rubber coating on it so it's not going to damage the wheel if you were able to push it down it ratchets so you're going to hear it tighten and get that last click out of there that way it's going to hold it in place but again easy release i like that you push the button it doesn't pop up aggressively or anything you can get it out of the way and then we can just lift up the bike and set it aside with the bike removed we can take a closer look at the cradles you can see you got this center groove that's gonna be good for road bikes it opens up for mountain bikes and can even be used with fat tire bikes but you have to get an additional part for the strap to extend it to go around those tires but it is possible speaking of the back strap here it is adjustable so you can slide it back and forth on this back tray that way you can adjust to different wheelbase sizes for various different bikes now let's go ahead and get some measurements see how much it adds to the back of your vehicle we go from the center of the hitch pin to the end of our bike rack. Looks like it's gonna be about 41 inches, so it adds quite a bit to the back of your vehicle. Let's go and get some ground clearance while we're here too. Throw some on the ground. At this point in the bike rack, it's gonna be about 30 inches. It is nice that it has so much ground clearance because it does come up from the shank at an angle, but we always like to tell people be careful of steep driveways or hills, but you shouldn't have any kind of problem with that. Now to take up some of that space, you can actually Fold it up towards the vehicle. So you're going to want to lift up on the rack just a little bit. It's going to make pulling that handle easier. Then it tilts up. Now let's go ahead and get a measurement. So center of the hitch pin to the end of the bike rack here. It's going to be about 14 and a half inches. So that's quite a bit less. That's going to make it easier when you're driving around without the bikes on, just having this up and out of the way. Let's see how it looks folded up on the back of your vehicle. So on our 4Runner, even if it was folded down with the bikes, the bikes would impede the taillights. You can see you can still see one of the taillights because it is a little off center. Our taillight up here, easily visible, so you don't have to worry about that being covered up. You should be able to see it out of the back mirror just fine. It will cover up 
your backup camera, so just keep that in mind when you go through in reverse, it could set that off because either there's bikes or it's folded up, it's gonna detect it. Take a look at the base of the Stage 2. It's got a built-in anti-rattle device, which I really like, because when you go to install it, you don't have to have any tools on you. That makes it far easier. So I'm gonna loosen it real quick and show you what it's like without that anti-rattle. The hand knob is nice and easy to use too. I really like that. It's got that grip on the outside. It's not, there's nothing in the way either. So you can get your whole hand around it and loosen it. And this with it loosened, see how much bouncing it does. Now when I go to tighten it, again, easy to grab onto there and tighten it down. Now you see there's no movement in there whatsoever. So that means it's not gonna transfer up to the bikes. Now up front, it uses a pin that goes right into the hitch pin hole. So that's all you do is just pop that in and you go to tighten this knob and that's what it all works together and how it keeps it nice and steady in that hitch. Another thing about the hand knob is it can lock and you got one key that works with the hand knob. It'll lock this and it'll free spin. That way it locks the rack to the hitch. And then also that key goes to the cable locks built into the rack so you can lock your bikes to the rack. Overall, I like the Yakima Stage 2. It worked with a bunch of different style bikes. So if you have a lot of different styles that you're not sure which one you're gonna take all the time, you want a bike rack to be able to handle all those different frames, this is gonna be a good one. Holds it by the wheels. I like that there's no tools to tighten it up in that hitch. You don't have to bring anything extra with you. You can load up your bikes and hit the road. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.